Hello, what's happening? Um, what was I doing today? Who gives a damn, right? <laughs> um, some of you asked me, what were you doing today? Oh, I don't know, I was scratching my ass in my underwear and uh, watching reality TV. No, <laughs> that was the truth. <laughs> Shut up. Um, what was I talking about? Oh. Uh, I was talking about lenses. Um, I beg, I beg of uh, some of you folks that are praising these quote-unquote fart lenses and uh, some of the other crappy lenses. Don't take my word for it, okay? I do have experience with these lenses, okay? They suck. They got poor quality control. I beg you to type in the Flickr page. Go type in like uh, Sigma DGHSM 50mm 1.4 art lens. Go to the Flickr page. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's like this, it's like you people are living in Flatland. Well, some of you are living in Flatland. So, well, this lens is a thousand dollars, and it's got a moniker of art. It's art. It's like this naked juice here. You know, it's eighty percent of the cost of this insanely expensive crap is the label on the front of the, <laughs> on the front of the jug. <laughs> it's not really special. Um, these lenses they produce flat images. Poor color saturation, uh, they're heavily shifted to cyan, um, as is the nature of uh, red and cyan. Uh, the lens is shifted towards the red, but they actually dope the glass so that it comes out with this. And this is a kind of a neat artistic effect, but you can throw that effect in, in post, in Photoshop, or uh, whatever photo suite that you use to edit your pictures. These images are, 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 are dreamy, they're fluffy, and they're flat. I mean, the foreground and the background are like that. You know, it does have a certain look. And uh, in some circumstances, uh, even I agree that that look is uh, dreamy and enticing. Um, but it also sucks ass. Because what you can't do in post is uh, you can actually add some color saturation. But it's too much trouble. I'd rather have it there to begin with. It's easier to have it there and take it and wash it out and make it look like a Sigma fart lens and take a picture with a Sigma fart lens and try to add it in post, okay, 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 okay? A lot easier to do it right at the point of the camera. Now the images are flat, the colors are washed out, it just, it's unbearable. The quality control is horrible, they, they fall apart, they have forward compatibility issues, the front element is even, isn't even, what. just don't take my word for it, just, Type in like 50mm f1.4 AIS and go to the Flickr page for that, or type in like a Sigma 50mm DGHSM 1.4 art lens and go to the Flickr page for that. Just go back and forth and compare the two. There's no comparison. Don't look at what's in the image. Kind of defocus your eyes and look at the image as a whole. Remember the magic images where you had to look through them to see the magic image? Do the same thing with the photographs. Photographic analysis, a lot of the uh, professors in a photography school, what they would do is they would not look at the image. They would eventually, as a secondary process. But one of the ways to process how an image, if it hasn't been heavily raped in post, is to actually defocus your eyes and look at the image, and you'll actually get an image of what the lens produces in your brain. Because most people, when they look at a picture, they're looking at what's in the picture. Well, first off, I'm not interested, or you shouldn't be interested, in what the hell is the picture or the composition. Whether it's a naked chick or a cute little dog, forget about that crap. Defocus your eyes, okay, and look through the image and see what the image looks like. Well, this image is cyan shifted. The foreground and background are flat. Um, it has poor color saturation, not good rendition. You'll start to see that. There's a different way of looking at a picture and it's evaluating, it's exp you're not evaluating with the picture or the composition and, or the focus or how sharp it is, okay? You're evaluating the production, assuming that there's not any post-production made uh, done to the image. You're, you're, uh, you're calculating the nature and the attributes of a specific lens, okay? So that's what you need to do when you go to the Flickr pages. Don't look at the pictures, look at the image. Okay, this, this image is cyan shifted, it's got color issues, rendition, depth issues. It's no good. Uh, that is a special effect that's kind of dreamy, but I can take any lens and make it look that way in Photoshop. I can actually calculate out what, uh, what uh, I need to do to get that image every time. 
to process it to make it look that way, but I don't want it being produced at the level of the camera. I want to produce it, I want to make it look that way in post if I want it to. I don't want it being produced on the SD card of the compact flash card because the lens has too much glass in it, it's poor quality, and it's heavily ED doped. Now the ED glass, most people don't know this, they say, well what's ED glass? Well it has a different refractive index, so it eliminates a chromatic aberration. What it does is affects uh, electromagnetic retardation and the properties of the light that passes through it. It is doped with uh, uh, materials that uh, have a certain dielectric permittivities. Okay? It has a, a level of dielectric permittivity which allows for, uh, which presents itself with uh, a better index refraction. So it culminates either end of the spectrum at a singular focus point before it reaches or as it reaches the next element behind it, so on and so on and so forth. Typically these, uh, these lenses have two or three um, ED glass elements in, and they distort and twist the light. It's just like taking a fine steak, as I've said before, and running it through the McDonald's processor. It's like, well this thing used to be an awesome ribeye or filet mignon and now it's a piece of crap McDonald's processed hamburger and it kind of tastes like it. So, just and you know, go out and examine the pictures for yourself and uh, you know, draw your own conclusions but take that special trick that I told you about on how to take a look at the picture before you actually look at what is in the picture that way it will tell you the characteristics and the attribute of the lens it is you are looking at because that is what you're trying to look for presumably so thanks for watching, catch you later